Hey everybody, just wanted to jump in, make a quick video uh, talking about what's happened over North Korea and then I'm going to touch on Turkey and Syria as well. This is at RT News, just came out recently. Pyongyang threatens US and South Korea with preemptive nuclear strike of justice over joint drills. Goes on to talk about how North Korea has threatened to conduct a preemptive nuclear strike of justice unless the biggest ever joint military drills off the Korean Peninsula involving more than 300,000 South Korean and 15,000 American troops are halted. The annual key resolve and full eagle exercises which have taken place since 2008 are kicking off on Monday and will run through April 30th. Ahead of the U.S. South Korean drills, the North has once again warned against provocations and threatened to nuke its adversaries if the drills go ahead. Pyongyang vowed a quote-unquote preemptive and offensive nuclear strike against the undisguised nuclear war drills aimed to infringe upon the sovereignty of North Korea. If we push the buttons to annihilate the enemies even right now, all bases of provocations will be reduced to seasoned flames and ashes in a moment the North's official KCNA news agency added. So Kim Jong-un and his buddies are once again saber-rattling, threatening a nuclear strike if the drills go ahead tomorrow, not only on South Korea, but on the U.S. mainland as well, which, uh, you know, a lot of the top generals and, um, you know, experts out there have said that they do have the capabilities to strike the U.S. mainland. Uh, we, we I know they have, they've got about 10 or 12 nukes right now, so... You know, a lot of people come out and say North Korea will never do anything. They don't have the balls. They'll be annihilated. But we all know Kim Jong-un is completely crazy, and he's a loose cannon. And uh, uh, this ahead with the UN sanctions that they imposed and the halt of, uh, of of cash from China, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff that Kim Jong-un is pissed off about right now, right now. So for us to go ahead and say that North Korea won't do anything is, like I said, uh, you know, just kind of naive and irresponsible because this guy is just completely crazy. And he could set this whole war off by launching one of his nukes at South Korea or at us. And we all know that they've got, um, possibly got, I think they have it already, is that uh, miniaturized nuclear warhead that is on a satellite that is hovering above the Earth right now that they could detonate and, you know, po cause our power grids to go down. Um, even, this came out a few weeks ago, uh, Admiral William Gortney, commander of NORAD, acknowledged the nuclear missile threat from North Korea. On April 7, 2015, he warned that North Korea has mobile, uh, has ICBMs called KN-08 armed with nuclear warheads that can strike the U.S. mainland. He revealed that critical assets hardened against EMP are moving back into an underground command post inside Cheyenne Mountain, Cheyenne Mountain at a cost of 700 million. On October 8, 2015, he warned the Atlantic Council that I agree with the intelligence community that we assess that North Korea has the ability, they have the weapons, and they have the ability to miniaturize those weapons, and they have the ability to put them on a rocket that can range the U.S. homeland. So this is, you know, the head of NORAD coming out saying that, that North Korea does indeed pose a threat, and we should take them seriously. So, you know, I would kind of take heed to that warning and, and not just laugh off and shrug off this crazy fat man's... Uh, you know, rhetoric and saber rattling because, you know, they do have the capability to fuck us up pretty badly, pardon my language. Um, pretty funny right here. This is from whitehouse.gov. I got off Superstation 95. It's actually a petition that, that someone put out asking Congress to declare war upon North Korea over its repeated nuclear threats against the USA. So I'll leave a link for this if you guys want to, you know, sign up and uh, basically... Um, give your vote to start World War III and launch missiles, launch nukes over uh, in North Korea. And, you know, it's got one signature right now, so they only need 99,999 to go. So I found that kind of funny. Um, moving on to Turkey real quick. Uh, all Nusra militants in Syria shell Turkey to prompt return fire. Jihadists in Syria have been shelling the Turkish area in an apparent attempt to provoke a response that could lead to Ankara sending troops into the neighboring country, according to Russia's true center in Syria. The actions of militants are aimed at provoking the Turkish military units to return fire and bring their troops into Syria, which will inevitably lead to the disruption of the peace process. So it looks like Turkey is just grasping at straws. They're running out of options. They're, they still got their ground troop invasion on the table, and now they're saying that ISIS is, in fact, uh, shelling into, uh, into Turkey uh, with mortar fire. And I think about 10 people were killed today, uh, along with about 40 others injured. Um, we all know that Turkey is supplying and funding and reinforcing ISIS into Syria through uh, the border, the southern border of Turkey into Syria. So this is just another bullshit false flag, um, in my opinion, that Turkey is using to justify their invasion of ground forces into 
Syria, and we all know that John Kerry's Plan B is still on the table, uh, bringing over 30,000 American troops into Syria, and we all know that uh, Saudi Arabia is still, you know, talking about putting their ground troops into Syria. They they continue to say on a daily basis that Assad must go, and I've repeated this a hundred times, that this ceasefire is complete bullshit. Everybody is still fighting everybody, and ground forces are going to inevitably be uh, inevitably be put on the ground at some point, uh, and sooner rather than later, in my humble opinion. So, um, just last article I've got real quick. Out of Fox News, U.S. Navy deploys several ships to the South China, China Sea as tensions rise. In a show of force, the U.S. Navy dispatched an aircraft carrier and five escort ships to the South China Sea amid rising tensions between the U.S. and China and over the southeastern uh, Asian nations claiming territory in the disputed re uh, region. Multiple defense officials confirmed to Fox News Friday. Um, so this is just, you know, oh God, more provocation by ch both China and the U.S., Talking about how it's disrupting the trade lane, trade lane lines, uh, sorry, trade lanes, and uh, you know, they just they just want to get this war started, man. I mean, this is just ridiculous. They could leave the leave it alone, leave uh, these disputed islands alone. Who gives a shit? Why risk World War Three over it? And now they've got uh, battleships and an aircraft carrier over there, and China's obviously got their fighter jets and their missile defenses on the South China Sea as well. So. Uh, things are not looking good. Um, that's about all I got for now. Um, keep our, I'm going to definitely keep uh, my eye on North Korea in the coming days. Um, you know, we'll see what happens if Kim Jong-un decides to pull the trigger on this uh, preemptive nuclear strike or he's just uh, being another crybaby as always. So uh, on that note, have a good night. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.